mid-December 2020 and gyms were officially closed for the second time in Denmark due to, well, you know. So in the beginning of January 2021, I decided to invest in some home gym equipment and wanting to get more into calisthenics, I ended up buying a set of parallels. Now, at this point, I wasn't really sure how to get started. So I thought it would be interesting to turn it into a 30 day video project and see how much I could progress within a 30 day time frame. So with that in mind, I had four exercises that I wanted to learn and set goals for. The first one was the L-sit, a relatively simple, not too technical exercise, yet very difficult to hold for a prolonged period of time. I wanted to get better at that. On day one, I was able to hold the L-sit for 18 seconds. So I decided to set a goal of wanting to be able to hold it for at least 30 seconds after the 30 day time period. <sighs> Secondly, the handstand. Definitely a technical movement that requires a lot of practice to master, but fortunately one I already had a bit of experience with from a video project I did a little over a year ago. Now that was a regular handstand and I hadn't really practiced that much since then. So I was a bit nervous to find out just how different the regular handstand would be from a handstand on parallels, where the balance is very different and you fall a lot harder. Oh, Whoa, that's scary. Oh. Oh. Okay, so maybe for the handstand, we should probably just say five seconds is the goal and keep it realistic. The third movement I wanted to learn was the L-sit into handstand, which I had never been able to do before. Got a long way to go with this one. The fourth and final exercise, and probably the most ambitious one, was the planche. <sighs> now the planche is a very difficult and advanced calisthenics movement, so I really had no idea at all what to expect, and if whether or not I would even be able to get close to anything resembling a full planche within the next 30 days. Nonetheless, since I've always thought it looked really cool, I decided to set a goal of wanting to get as close as I possibly could within the 30 day time frame. <sighs> yeah, this is not happening. With those four goals in mind, I decided to train every other day, mainly to keep both frequency and intensity high while still allowing my body an adequate amount of time to recover in between training sessions and to better avoid injury. It was time to get to work. On day two, I quickly realized that the first thing I probably had to learn was how to fall properly when doing a handstand on parallels. And turns out it's actually pretty simple. You just do like you would when falling over in a regular handstand. You twist your body to one side and do a small cartwheel type of movement. I do recommend though getting comfortable with bailing like this on grass or soft surface first in order to, well, avoid smashing onto your back or your neck and breaking something. After finally getting comfortable with the handstand build, I moved on to some progression strength exercises for the planche, like for example, the tucked planche. And after that, I practiced the L-sit by doing three sets of 10 second holds. A lot of the training sessions throughout the month would consist mainly of progression movements and exercises to build up strength. On day four, I had done a bit of studying on the technique of the planche and the muscle groups involved. Essentially, you want to do exercises where you sort of simulate being in the same position that you would be in when performing the planche to better strengthen those muscles. So I started doing a bunch of exercises where the main focus would be on protracting my shoulder blades and tightening my core. And in the beginning, it definitely did feel a bit strange, but that's usually a pretty good indicator that you're working with muscle groups that you're not used to working with. Now for anything related to the handstand, I try to keep the same thing in mind in that you want to simulate being in the position that you would be in when performing the movement. So when, for example, doing an exercise like the pike push-up, I would focus on controlled movement, a tight core, and fully extending the shoulder joints at the top part of the movement. On 
day six, I slowly began seeing some progress with the L set to handstand. While much easier said than done, I realized that during the transition, I needed to keep my shoulders as high as possible. The reason for that is that the lower your shoulders are during the transition, the harder the press will be, since you're pressing in a larger range of motion. If instead you're able to keep your shoulders high and minimize arm bend, the press will be shorter and easier. Despite this, however, I still didn't quite feel like I was close to getting it. And my progression with the handstand, well, it was still pretty much a mess. Fast forward a bit, and on day 12, I was finally beginning to see some serious progress with both the L-sit and the handstand. At this point, I was able to hold the L-sit pretty comfortably for three sets of 15 second holds. And while my handstand form was still pretty terrible, I was having an easier time finding balance when doing the handstand. Also, I had just bought a camera stabilizer, so I played around with that a bit and gave a sad attempt at filming this cool little cinematic workout sequence. It's a work in progress. For the rest of the 30 day challenge, a lot of the work I did simply consisted of a lot of repetition and practice, just as you would when learning any other new skill. Although not as much as I had hoped, every training session I still felt like I made a small progress and got just a little bit stronger. Finally, on day 30, it was time to see how much I had progressed. I started out with the l sit, which was also the exercise I felt the most confident in. And as it turned out, I managed to hold the L-Set for 34 seconds. <sighs> Almost doubling my original time and 4 seconds over my planned goal. Now, while this definitely felt like a pretty awesome achievement, it was also somewhat expected. Since the L-Set is the least technical movement of the four, so it's pretty simple to train. You start with something doable, like for example 5 to 10 second holds, and then you just slowly increase the time. Moving on to the handstand. It did take a few attempts, but I eventually managed to exceed my goal of 5 seconds there as well. To my surprise, for the first good attempt, I actually managed to hold the handstand for a full 8 seconds. Looking back at the footage, however, I felt like my form could have been just a bit better. When doing the handstand on parallels or a flat surface for that matter, you want to try to keep your body in as straight a line as possible. So I gave it another go, and while not perfect, I managed to do another handstand hold, this time for 9 seconds, with my form looking maybe just a little bit better. Overall, I was definitely content with the results so far. After the handstand, it was time to go for the L-sit to handstand. Committing to this movement still felt really scary at this point. And honestly, I wasn't confident at all in my ability to do it. After putting that fear aside and giving it a few attempts, however, this happened. Now, I obviously don't consider it a full L-sit to handstand since I lost my balance and I wasn't really able to hold the handstand at all. But I was still extremely excited since it was the closest I had gotten thus far. I gave it a bunch of attempts after that, but I wanted to save some strength for the planche. So I eventually accepted that the L-sit to handstand just wasn't in the cards for this 30-day challenge. 
Finally, it was time to see how far I had made it with the planche. And, as expected, I still wasn't even close. Now, I didn't really take this to heart since, like I mentioned in the beginning, the planche is an extremely difficult and very advanced calisthenics movement. And learning it should definitely be considered more of as a marathon rather than a sprint. Instead, I decided to give it a go and see how long I could hold the tuck planche, which I also barely was capable of holding at all when I first began. Well, three seconds isn't too much to brag about, but it's progress nonetheless. But yeah, that was pretty much all of the progress I was able to make after training with the Paralytes for 30 days. So with that, I think I'll round off the video here. Now, it's definitely been a lot of fun training with the Paralytes and getting more into this calisthenic style of training. And I definitely do plan on keeping it up within my regular exercise routine. So I might do an update video sometime in the future. But for now, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this type of content and all things related to personal growth, challenges, and especially learning new skills, you should definitely consider subscribing to stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.